Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel learning series with Sayyid. Until now we have learned few basic text functions and some basics of Excel. From today onwards we are going to explore the date functions. To follow along with me, download this workbook using the link in the video description. We have two worksheets in this workbook. See it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate this do it is for you to practice. Before moving any further, let me tell you the order of operations that is followed in Excel. This is quite similar to what we do in our general math. It's the same board mass rule. Brackets, then order, then division, followed with multiplication, addition and subtraction. That is how the calculation is carried out in Excel. So remember this and let's move on. Now before we even start dealing with the date functions you need to know two basic functions. These functions are going to help you a lot. The today function and the now function. If I start a new workbook just for the sake of demonstration. Now type in today. This function does not take any arguments. If I just press enter you will notice it will show me today's date. There we go. Now what if I enter the now function? This function will give me not only the date but also the current time of my system. So it is the 1st of December 2017 4.48 a.m. So this is how these functions are used. They do not take any kind of arguments inside. Let me get rid of this workbook quickly. Now that you know what is today function, let us do some math using the date functions. In front of us we have this workbook with the names of your employees, their date of birth and their start date. I will calculate their age and tenure using today function. Now I press equal to. Now I type in today and then open and close bracket minus. I need to remove the date of birth, the number of days that is from today's date. Today is the higher date. So I will remove the date of birth from today in order to extract the number of days that person has lived so far. So I press enter on the keyboard. You will notice it is giving me some kind of number. That is actually different format of date. So let me go ahead and enclose this entire thing in brackets and divide it by 365 that is 365 days of the year 0.25 this 0.25 is for the leap years so now I press enter there we go I have his age calculated using today function let me tell you what is happening here first we have used today function that is extracting the today's date then we are removing the date of birth of that person from today. So we get the number of years and months and days. We can we can calculate it any way we want. Then with that set of information we are dividing it with 365.25 in order to get it in the year format. Now if I drag this down you will notice age of other persons is also calculated. So this is how you calculate age inside Excel. I would like to give you tenure calculation as a challenge. Give it a try. Try calculating the tenure of an employee using the start date. I am going to give you an overview. You need to remove the start date from today's date and divide it with 365.25 and you will get the tenure. I hope you're getting me. If you still fall in trouble, do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below.
and as always do come back subscribe enable the notifications for continued learning with Sayyid thank you so much for watching this video until next time have a nice day